Hey, what's up? It's me, and we're doing some delicious in Dungeon. This is episode 13. Um, I've been procrastinating and procrastinating doing this video, and I'm gonna leave it too late, and so I need to do it right now. <laughs> um, I can't wait for this. We're moving into the second core, I guess. I guess this would be considered... Is this the start of the second core? And if it is, do we get no OP and ED? I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't... Normally... Like, cause I've left this pretty late. Normally I see like videos pop up of like new OP, reaction to new OP or whatever on my home page and I didn't this morning. So maybe there's not a new OP, but I don't know. Um, we're gonna be jumping into the episode regardless. We got our girl Fallen back. It was, last episode was such a sweet episode. It made me very happy and uh, it just, it was so cute and great to see her come back and to see everyone's reaction to her. It's, it's amazing. So. Um, let's see where this episode and this show goes from here. Uh, this is episode 13 of Delicious in Dungeon. Make sure to support the video on the channel if you can. If you like my vibe, if you like my videos, go check out some other videos on this channel. And I have a Patreon account in the description below if you want the full length versions of these reactions, as well as early access exclusive videos, lots of other stuff for both this channel and my Gent Watchers One Piece channel. So much stuff, so much stuff. So go check it out. Let's jump into this Delicious in Dungeon episode 13. Nope, same OP. Okay. It'll be impossible for us to eat all of this. Really? <laughs> you could give it a shot. Oh, you okay? What the fuck? The sword. Oh no, she's moving past the sword. What's happening? She's been controlled? Oh, there you are. Why do you look like that? Oh yeah, they tease. I thought I gave you a mission to search for his majesty. I do not recall allowing you to rest. Search for his majesty. <laughs> My sword just fell from against the wall. Tie that stupid thing up already. No, it's trying to warn you, right? Fallon? Have you seen Fallon anywhere? Can't say anyone's passed by. <laughs> Boy, mm. did something? It can't be. Did she leave from this window? <laughs> Oh god. I'm going to look outside. Huh? I mean, yeah, he'd be so worried and traumatized. She he just got her back. Oh my god. The dragon just melts away. Fallon. Oh. Are you It's shaking. I must find him. I must find Lord Delgo. Lord Delgo. How in this kingdom? Oh. All of it is the personal property of his majesty, <laughs> King Delgo. Okay. His. Oh, shit. Do you understand, you disgusting thief? Whoa, you have a cool voice. <laughs> remember, you were wandering around in the paintings. Yes, he was. I thought I, I thought that's where she was from. Right. But who is he? He, you sorry. I want. <gasps> He's got a very feminine look. It's the mad mage himself. Oh. I won't miss again. This is insane. You know your place, you filth. <laughs> Shut up! Oh my God! Lulios! Such amazing. This is freak. getting intense. <laughs> this chanting could only be dark magic. Oh my god, it's a bunch of tiny Ancient dragons. Magic. Ancient magic. Oh. Oh god. I'll overwrite the spell in. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, Marcel. She's been fucking badass lately. Oh my god. I can read it, but Oh my god. Are you okay, Marcel? I can't keep up with it! Oh my god. <laughs> I like the label following it. Oh no. I need to talk to you about Oh shit. Okay, this is fucking sick. This is awesome. <laughs> Are the spirits defending her? Your form for you. What the fuck? 
Oh my god. What the fuck? Yes. What the fuck is going on? Ow. What happened? Is he changing her into a dragon? So we still have to go out to Farlin because now she's part like she's a dragon and being commanded? Are the walls closing in? You've gotta be kidding me! Oh god. Oh my god. Oh no one is gonna find us under rocks. Yeah. We just got fell in back. Oh. And I was so close and like this. Oh shit. Oh shit! The spirits are saving her? We don't even know where it ends up. It's better than in there. Yep. You gotta get up. If that guy finds us again, we're Oh god. More more ghosts? Yep. Are they gonna like recruit our help? Oh I mean that's not comforting because you're creepy. <laughs> I'm gonna go look around a little bit. Oh. Hey guys. <laughs> What's going on? We found some moose, Captain. How'd they get in here? Captain. Why'd the watch not catch them? An underground dweller. A long legs. And a long ear. <laughs> a long legs. Oh, Is that just what humans I've never are? Killed a long ear before. Give the small one to the dogs. No. For entertainment. <laughs> Hold on. We know you. You're since way different, vegetable seller. <laughs> I did think it was weird that the dragon didn't seem to be around anymore. In place of my brother, I thank you. Nice. Go prepare the medicine. Thank goodness we met him before. It's ready. Ah, orc concoction. Yum. Oh. Can you not just pour it right in? Does it have to mix with your saliva? Oh, God. Marcel's not looking forward to that. Wouldn't it be funny if she just poured it into Marcel's mouth? Oh my god. <laughs> if someone from the outside starts to meddle with a dungeon more than necessary, then he appears. Mm. And can kill anything simply by opening that book. My god, he's a when cool he character. Dungeon, I love him. So then, to protect us from that fate, my brother made sure to tell us never to touch the red dragon. Oh shit. My brother's right about everything. <laughs> that bastard! He just lured you guys into doing definitely it. Definitely want to start looking for Fallon. Do you want to become part of the wall? Cause I sure don't. I. I get. I get. I always understand Chilchuck. Absolutely no way I'm dying with those two. Even though I don't agree with him, I always understand hey, uh, him. I'd. Yes, I mind. A stench of your cowardly nature might rub off. On you. <laughs> I'm asking you to. Can you please take him back? Oh, Senshi. He is a coward, but he's not a bad person. True. Someone needs to stay by Laios and Marcel's side. Mm -hmm. And what? feed them. I can't believe I'm surrounded by such idiots. Mm. And you're so angry you also because him. you're feeling guilty, sure I think. The last time that was cool, the expression changing behind the wall. The easy one, it's not your problem, huh? Uh, oh, uh, shit. No and only appear when they want to be seen. The paths that they travel are safe. Let's follow. Oh, cool. So they can, like, lead you. Down there. That's where we were before. That's where the dragon was. The red dragon is gone. Come back to life, maybe? Yeah, no. I think the kinda. The dogs don't seem to be on high alert. But not in dragon the form. took it away or made it disappear. I think it's all in Valen now. The person who did it had no idea she could use that spell. And later, our healer almost got us wiped out. But you're alive sure, still. eventually worked out. And then the tall man, his name's Laios, by the way, jumped onto it and struck its weak point. Yeah, you're a good party. Down. It was fine since we succeeded, but it was a dumb gamble. It really well, could you have out. won any other way, Chilchuck? People live so recklessly like that. It made him feel like he had to commit. 
So what happened after you killed the dragon? Yeah, Chilljax got some we guilt. All of our injuries, and then we cooked up a bunch of the dragon meat. Glad to hear it. You should enjoy the spoils of battle. I like this orc. <laughs> She's cool, but also tough on him. Victory. That long-eared girl. Someone with such a dumb-looking face handled that. <laughs> so really is an idiot. That isn't what I meant. <laughs> Just be honest and tell them that you don't want them to die. Oh. <laughs> the orc girl is awesome. Although, I guess that makes you the smartest out of all of us. Mm, true. And it also told you when Falun had left. Hey, I'm back and I got our stuff. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be laying down. He wants to go find Fallen. Oh, feeling fine. That's because your sense of pain is off because of the medicine. Fallon should still be somewhere nearby. Oh, Not... Please. In our current situation, we can't continue exploring. Someone's gonna die. Oh, okay. He's being honest. Can you hold off and return to the surface? <laughs> I really don't. But three people are in danger here. Oh. If we mention the Mad Mage, if we're prepared, then we can come back to this floor a lot faster later. Oh. <laughs> Let's all go back to the surface. That's a pretty good plan. I mean, it's... At least he has a plan and he's being honest. being honest. Doc, I'd like Fallon to eat some good meals whenever we see her again. <laughs> we will do the best we can to support your party. <laughs> Yeah, it is the best right. idea, Elias. But you convince him by being honest. I'm worried you all. <laughs> Let's pack up and head back. <laughs> yeah. This show is so beautifully written. Oh god. The ride is incredible. Great episode. Oh my god, this show is just so good. It's so incredibly good. And like now it seems to be like tackling you know, a greater story, like a, a, you know, it's like if the first 12 episodes or the first, I guess, 10 or 11 episodes were like slice of life, then now we're moving into a, a story story, which, um, you know, I'm very happy with, like, I still obviously still hope we get some cooking and stuff. And I imagine we still will. I don't think that's ever going to, uh, like properly stop. Um, but it's, um, but it's just, it's so cool having like a proper story because I, like I've seen from these first episodes just how incredible this rider is at world building and how like this story has been like crafted nicely and things are tying together well. Um, so I love to see her like now, like at this point in the story, making it into a, into a full story. And it, and it was really nicely set up through the original episodes where it's like in the original episodes, it's almost like the arc they're going through is like a very simple, like character thing that doesn't really like other people aren't really affected by what they're doing they're just going on a personal journey to get his sister back and it's like it's nothing crazy it's nothing insane and it's nothing like world changing but by doing it they're accidentally triggering like a main quest you know like they're accidentally doing something that's really huge and so now things are gonna start like going it's gonna start going insane. So the um, the mad mage, or at least who we assume is a mad mage, which I like, he never specifically said he was that, but um, but we can we can guess from w what they've said that he's probably the mad mage. Um, he is a fucking cool character. I love like. He's got an awesome design. I I remember like he always stood out to me in the um in the painting or the like living picture or whatever episodes um but and i thought like wow that was a really cool character and then we like left them and like we left him and i thought we i thought it was like okay the reason he was in those episodes was to show that we can't just stay in those pictures because otherwise we're creating problems or whatever or that like a descendant of a descendant of a descendant or whatever like that 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 Laios had could like po possibly kind of changed the past and like now a descendant 
would um would somehow be affected by it and so we'd we'd see someone and then laios's picture would be up on the wall as like a the evil villain who appeared one day and disappeared or something you know like i don't know i thought it was setting something in motion but i didn't think that was the mad mage actually coming and going like what the fuck are you doing coming into these pictures and messing around with shit you know so i i like that's really fucking cool and that's really cool to set up that character in advance um he's got a cool design um i might accidentally refer to him with female pronouns sometimes uh because he's got a very feminine design and also a uh, kind of feminine voice and so like i might make that mistake but i'll hopefully correct myself and go back to he him pronouns um because it seems like i mean he never explicitly stated his like that that he was a, a man so sometimes there are shows that i watch where I will use female pronouns. I'll go like, oh, look at her. And then someone will go, oh, what's that guy go doing over there? And I go, oh, okay, it's supposed to be a, it's supposed to be a guy. Okay, he, him. And then I start using he, him. And then like 10 episodes later, like that character steps forward and goes, I'm actually a girl. You should call me she, her. And I'm like, oh, well, okay, well, <laughs> I got it right in the first place. <laughs> so, um, so I... But I assume this is just this is just a matter of a uh, you know kind of feminine design for a for a, a male figure. So um, I'm I'm going to try to remember that and make sure I'm just tempering expectations because sometimes I do that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I love his design. I love his voice. Honestly, um, I think it's like having a kind of feminine voice but still being like menacing like that is is really is really awesome. Um, and I was, like, whenever I thought about the Mad Mage, like, I imagined, you know, a, uh, uh, you know, Gandalf, <laughs> Dumbledore figure, like a scraggly old man, um, and I, you know, it didn't sound super interesting to me, so I wasn't really caring about the Mad Mage, but now, like, he looks fucking sick, so I really care about this character a lot. Um, it was one hell of an introduction, and so it seems like maybe Farlin because like possibly because the dragon was used to revive Farlin part of the dragon is within Farlin and so like now maybe Farlin is the dragon in human form but also will have parts of the dragon within her now maybe so maybe Farlin is now kind of like a villain but we need to go and get her back so we need to kind of fight her to get her back so the series might not have changed its overall goal this is really interesting because I said I think it was really cool that they had us, oh, we have to go get Farlin, but then now we've, like, we've gotten her, so we have to get a new goal or whatever. But it seems like, no, our goal actually hasn't changed now. We lost Farlin again. We need to go get her back, but now it's more interesting than she's been eaten by a dragon. Now it's, she's possibly, like, being controlled by the Mad Mage and is a villain because she has parts of dragon inside her, maybe? I mean, that's just a theory. I don't know if that's exactly what's going on, but, um... But it's really cool. It's a really cool development for this episode. Um, I really liked just in this episode, just hearing Chilchuck's thoughts on everything. I mean, as I said, I kind of agree with some things Chilchuck's saying. Mostly I don't agree with Chilchuck, but I understand Chilchuck. But I think at the end of this episode, they did a good job at like the orc woman saying like, what you should just be honest and say you don't want people to die. And then when Chilchuck was saying that, and actually saying his true thoughts instead of like trying to you know weasel his way out of being honest um then i was like okay no now you're making really good points and i understand and and you'd be stupid not to listen to that you know um so i really i really appreciate that like it brought because especially when he was saying like you can't reason with people like that but it's like you can reason with them you're just not using the right methods you're just trying to tell them off and like act like they're being stupid and calling them stupid and stuff and of course they're not going to listen to that because you're you're the reasons you're giving them is like you shouldn't do it because you might you might die and it's stupid and like it, and you're being dumb and you're not listening to me but like those aren't the reasons that's gonna make Lyos stop if you sit down with Lyos and say listen there's a better way we can do this and I don't want to lose you like it will hurt me to lose you and 
and him and her, you know, like I can't, I don't want to be standing here losing people because we're making uh, hasty decisions. Can we take our time with this so that we can do this the best possible way? Then Laios is going to listen because you're, you're appealing to the part of him that he would understand that makes sense to him. So I really like the way that was written. It's great. Oh, so good. Um, anything else? Uh, they're searching for Lord Delgar, which is, I, I'm, I, why are they searching for him? Like, where is he? <laughs> it's curious. Um, but yeah, anyway, just a great episode. Just, just brilliant. Just brilliant. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to support this video if you can, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And go to my Patreon account if you want full-length version, early access, and exclusive videos. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.